Since the custom models were added in Operation Shattered Web last year, we've received a few visibility updates. But this is THE visibility update. Why am I talking so quietly? It's because it's 5 in the morning, and I'm a nice housemate. This update is not some half-hearted map change, nor some minor model adjustment, though there are those as well. But we've been given a brand new video option called Boost Player Contrast. It's effectively magic, but it makes player models more visible. This is done with a number of subtle adjustments. At a distance, it appears to give players a subtle dark halo, more vivid colours, and it blurs the background around them to make them stand out better. And maybe they're no longer faded by the map's fog. The difference this makes ranges from subtle to pronounced. And yet, it's never distracting. It doesn't go so far as to make it all look artificial or like some kind of cheat. I often struggled to know if it was on or not, but turn it off and the change it made was immediately apparent. I wouldn't mind the option to adjust the strength of this effect. But what we have here is a good starting point, and now this option's a thing, we can say goodbye to any of the problems we've been having because no doubt they'll be able to adjust the strength of this effect until a balance is found that suits all of us. In my opinion, there's no good reason not to use this. Just enable it and then if there are still problems, let Valve know. And as well as this, there have been the obligatory model and map changes, which I'll be covering pretty much for the remainder of this video. Some of the model changes are surprisingly big. When I initially looked at these models, I got them the wrong way round and was like, hmm, this doesn't look like an improvement. Which I guess says that they are an improvement. More contrast, more colour, and a stupid white balaclava which clearly prioritises style over substance. Believe me, it was extremely tempting to upscale these images, but I resisted since I felt it could undo what we're trying to look at here. But one wouldn't hurt, would it? Face it, it does look better. Ah, screw it, let's have them all upscaled. And now the map changes, of which there are many. Dust 2's the best to cover. For the first time in Counter-Strike history, they've increased the amount of fog. It starts nearer and gets thicker. Over the years, this has been reduced, I assume to improve visibility. But with the new graphics option, the extra fog might help distant characters to stand out more. 2020 really is a year full of surprises. Oh, and Bombsite B's doors have been reversed. This is a big thing too. People have wanted this change for ages, though I dare not speculate about how it will change the Bombsite experience, as this will change everything a bit. I think the general belief was that flipping these doors would make attacking the site from middle easier since you'd be able to clear out the angles one by one, and it means one less place you can get shot from when planting the bomb. But on the other hand, it'll make rushing B a bit more scary to know that a sniper could be stood in mid, trained in on your location. So there are a lot of changes to consider here. I think variety's good, but learn a few smokes to help hide this sightline if you're attacking the site. I'd like to know what would happen if the entrance was pushed back a bit, the cover along here extended, and perhaps something in the middle just here. But maybe that's too big a change to such a classic layout. The windows on the slope at A have been made smaller and higher up so that heads poking over the wall won't be disguised by them. And the cover next to the truck in middle has been simplified by having more panels added. This is obviously connected with the change to B's double doors, since Valve are now expecting this to be a viable sniper position. Finally, people guarding mid will have yet another thing to worry about. Inferno may not look like it's had the most changes, but they're some of the most interesting. This ivy near CT spawn has been pruned back to make it stick out less, or to improve visibility or whatever. That wasn't the exciting change. In middle, they've improved the tower's shadow. You can see before it was a horrible blurry blob, but it now shows the roof tiles and better blends in with the surrounding shadows. In some ways, this isn't quite as realistic since shadows of far off things should be blurrier, but I think it looks nicer, so there. This is an interesting change because the tower was in the skybox, meaning it doesn't actually exist, so that's why there were shadow problems before. Off the top of my head, I can't think of how they forced accurate shadows on something in the skybox, but it's probably a matter of ticking a checkbox somewhere that, for some reason, has remained unchecked for all these years. And lastly, a game of tic-tac-toe has been added to T-Spawn. Because those AFK teammates need something to do upon their return. People will be happy with Mirage's changes too. The ladder might, and I say might, finally be fixed. For years, players have lost rounds by getting stuck at the top of this monstrosity. The patch notes say the angle has changed, but I can confirm that the suspect clipping has also been adjusted we might finally be free of this thing. This plant near T-Spawn has been trimmed back, and when they say that, they mean it. It's about as pathetic looking as a haircut done in lockdown. 
The lightened market has been made brighter by a pointless amount. A silent drop down into B has been fixed, though you'll just have to imagine what that will look like. And the rubbish at the top of middle has been tidied up. But that, but that's not all. Overpass has been given some pretty new trims to conceal some rather simple brushwork. But now they clip through all the flowers, so valve please fix. The windows and toilet have been taken out. This ivy on the wall outside has been removed to eliminate one of the more sneaky camping spots on the map. The bicycle at Picnic has been stolen, and some lights have been added to Mid and T spawn. What a difference these make. Visually, it's so much more inviting. I can't imagine ever returning to how dark and depressing they looked before. You'll no longer be so safe camped in a corner at T spawn. Not that you should be there in the first place. Train has had one change, and that's to these bumpers, which have been adjusted to have a flat top to make for a simpler outline and for better visibility should someone be camped behind them. And last is cache. Textures have been simplified and brightened across the map, as it's clear that Evanpone has done one of his classic full map sweeps of little details that could never all make it to the patch notes. There are small things like these wires in B being raised so as to be out of the way of the action, but you can understand why these things don't make it to the patch notes. I've mentioned in the past how this map loses more of its greenery with every update, but in his defence, while some places, like Warehouse, do lose more than they gain, there are parts where the floor gains more grass, so it's not all bad news. The ladder in middle has been swapped out for a box that you can hop up from. Ladders in the game are fiddly and bad, so until the game receives a Source 2 ladder update, I think this is the best option. An unwanted mid-shed wallbang has been fixed, and 1v1 arenas have been added. These are quite a bit bigger than Valve's ones. They seem more detailed and more sprawling since they have an indoor and outdoor area to really give players a taste of the two halves of the map before the game starts for real. Like you can see, this really has been the visibility update. They've apparently adjusted the dropped C4 geometry as well, which if I had to guess would be similar to the updates the grenades got lately to make picking them up more reliable and predictable. Danger Zone's drones have received another fix, and the Deagle now fires a shell when the last bullet is fired. Excellent work, Valve. Now you've fixed our visibility concerns, you're free to give us even more ridiculous looking custom models.